President Biden's climate czar, John Kerry, a bit in uh, about a, maybe in some trouble here, uh, reportedly colluded with Iran to undermine former President Trump and the Trump team's foreign policy. Kerry and other Biden administration's officials met with Iran Foreign Minister Javad Zarif during the Trump presidency, a source told The Washington Times that Kerry engaged in, quote, shadow diplomacy to save the Iran nuclear deal. And joining us now to talk more about this is the Senate Chairman of the National Iranian Congress, a member of the Iranian opposition, Amir Fakhravar. Amir, great to see you again. Thank you, John, for having me. Now, this would be a violation of federal law if he was really meddling in uh, the foreign affair of the sitting president. Uh, but, you know, John Kerry, do you think he'll ever be held to account for this, Amir? Oh, um, I don't think so. But um, you mentioned about the violation of federal law. Let me read something very short uh, from Washington Post. Uh, the Logan Act, I want everybody to yes, understand clearly. Yes, the Logan Act, clearly which is a long question here, yes. Yeah, the Logan Act is signed by President John Adams in 1799, which seeks to prevent private citizens from intervening without authorization in dispute between the United States and foreign governments. This is exactly the thing John Kerry have done. He was a um, private citizen. And at that time, um, think about it. It was the maximum pressure from policy, from uh, Trump administration. And um, uh, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, have been following that policy. It was working. Regime, the Mullah's regime was crushed. And the people... Inside the country, millions of people, finally, they said, OK, the world, ha they do have our back. Let's go to street and fight with the mullah. Yep. Last year, 1,500 young kids in the street, they have been killed by snipers with the order of Iranian supreme leader. And at the same time, a private citizen called John Kerry have been talking behind President Trump's back to Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif to tell them, just wait. We have a big plan to send out this president from the White House, and we will bring a, a friendly Joe. And Amir, you know, I want to talk about what you brought up a second ago with the 2009 Green Revolution when the Obama administration did not support the Iranian public and I think we're seeing the you know side effects of that and the devastating consequences of that now because there is no trust I don't think among the Iranian people uh, to to believe that this administration is going to stand up for them because the previous administration when Joe Biden was vice president under President Obama didn't stand up for them and even the AP is now pointing out the Associated Press talking about the fact the headline from them today saying that the Biden administration's attempts to work with Iran to rejoin the nuclear deal are off to a quote unquote bumpy start. What do they expect was going to happen based on the failures from the last time around? Um, it's the, the only thing will happen, I can um, tell them, Iran will have a nuclear weapon. And then we'll say, OK, we are part of the club now. And then they are going to test it on Israel. And then they are going to second test on Saudi Arabia and then go to Europe and then test it with the help of North Korea and China and Russia to United States too. These mullahs are crazy. You mentioned about 2009, the Green Movement. At that time, still some part of the country, they believed in reform. Right. But last year, when 96% of the country, they said, we hate the mullahs. We don't want them to rule the country anymore. And then they came to street. And, right. and how then, many and they gave down, order to Amir. kill them, kill they them, assassinate them, it's a and we don't hear about this enough everywhere. because none, the information does not How? get out. Obviously, I, Iran I is not a free republic. They don't have freedom of information like we do. And that's why we you know, pay so much attention to those attacks on the First Amendment like we're seeing right now. Amir, we got to run. We appreciate okay. your time. Oh, never enough time Thank to talk you. to my friend. We'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks so much, Amir. Amir Thank, you. Thank you for having me. A member of the Iranian resistance. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.